Hey there, this is Logan from Subaqua, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about refreshing the air in the bubble room. Um, one of the very first questions that people usually ask is, what about the air? Don't you run out of oxygen? Yes, obviously. You're breathing, and so we do. And the way we combat that is we refresh the air by dumping out about two-thirds and then refilling with a scuba tank. Here's a almost empty shot compared to an almost full shot. What we do is we just peel back the vinyl and let out gigantic bubbles of air. Here's one. This is a real-time shot of a bubble coming to the surface. And when it actually gets there, the whole surface swells up and it looks like it's boiling and it's torrential and amazing. This is a, another shot. I slowed this one down a little bit so you can kind of watch those bubbles. It's incredibly impressive to see. And then what it looks like from the inside is this. And that's what it sounds like. Pretty simple. This is my brother and my dad um, this year, hanging out, being clowning around. Once we've let out the air, we refill it. So we refill it with scuba tank. Right there, stop. Okay, see that? No, not that. That's three rings on one finger, yes. But that thing, that's a scuba tank. And we just crack the valve a little bit, and you'll see here, it starts bubbling all that fresh air goodness into the room. This is what it looks like from underwater. Pretty awesome. This is uh, Jordan and me. Well, I think this was last year. One thing we found out is that um, it's actually a lot of fun to ride the bubbles of air. This is my friend Johnson. And I'll, I'll slow this one down so you can see it. You just get in position and this soft, cold, violent, crazy, loud, white volcano of airy wonder whips you to the surface. It's pretty amazing. And just as a parting gift, here is another slowed down shot of the very first shot I showed you. Uh, just so you can see. Ah, so cool. So cool, right? Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like any more information, go ahead and head on over to subaqua.alldaydrive.com. And we've got a lot of questions and answers there. Thanks. I have to uh, make sure I put a disclaimer in here that we always breathe out on ascent even if you're riding a volcano bubble if you want to learn more about pulmonary barrel trauma and why breathing out is so critical go to our website at subaqua.alldaydrive.com